All right, weekly pack, day one. And uh, it's not very often that I would upload a video on the first day of the weekly, but I um, thought I would uh, give it a try since uh, it doesn't seem to be that bad for once. The It does have bison and clownfish, but other than that, it's um, relatively varied. Uh, there's not really much going on in terms of summons, I don't think, but um, you know, there's some decent uh, sniping teams and uh, some some other interesting builds, which I'll probably upload um, some other videos from the weekly that I've already recorded uh, later this week. But um, so here we're st stacking tamarins, and I'm just going to try and get a a double level up going. Not not because I want to fish for bison, but uh, just because I think uh, tamarin is one of the uh, level threes that I don't have the achievement for. So I do the triple level here and I was probably looking for clownfish but we get um, dolphin and starfish so I'm just gonna save the starfish for next turn and freeze the two bicells. Starfish is okay in this pack. Um, there aren't a huge number of, of bicells available. There's pig, um, beaver and then later on there is uh, zebra but there's, a, there's stoat as well. The problem with stoat is that the starfish can end up um, buffing what comes out of the stoat, uh, which uh, isn't ideal. But here I give the dolphin cherry because the tamarind needs it to function. Um, I freeze the pill here, although I think I just changed my mind about it because there's no blobfish. I could pill um, a tur turtle onto um, tamarind, but I'd rather get the uh, pineapple because then the Tamarin is going to go from doing three damage uh, to three opponents to five damage to three opponents. And here we get the bizarre uh, double Tamarin face-off, which ends with the Retriever coming in because I've still got one Trumpet left. So here we do luckily sell the Stoat and it doesn't hit the 1-1 uh, Badger. And I freeze the Goldfish just because it's nice to have as the... Um, the last sort of pet on a starfish team even if it's just for one turn because then you can discount one of the buy cells so here I'm going to discount the duckling but I'm also freezing the pineapple for the tamarin and this is kind of a typical team that you, you you would see although to be honest after this I played quite a few more games and it wasn't too often that I was getting matched with level three fish bison um, but uh, we we're going to get uh, easily beaten there and we'll put the uh, pineapple on the um, tamarind. I just want to see it uh, delete a whole bunch of pets before um, the opposing team's health gets too high. I'll freeze the, the dolphin and we'll just take it now. And I'm going to have to move off the starfish pretty soon because it's giving pretty minimal buffs and it's becoming more and more difficult to find the buy sell pets. Um, another uh, level three tier one plus bison. Um, I think if the uh, snipes had gone differently there, we might have been in okay, but um, pretty unfortunate. Um, you know, it's just unavoidable. It's going to happen, but at least it's not completely egregious compared to some of the buffalo packs that you see. So here we'll get the level on the dolphin and I get moose. So that is vastly superior to starfish, um, at least in this pack. So we'll buy sell the tropical fish and then... Um, just buy the moose because uh, I could have bought the moose and bought the turtle here but I don't want the moose to buff the turtle um, and I'm generally when I'm doing these kind of runs I just I'm deliberately greedy and you know I'd rather it happens so frequently that I you know you, you buy the pet just to make up the numbers and then um, it the moose will buff it unfortunately <laughs> it's another miss out by one HP and um, now we're on lethal and we only have two wins uh, turn eight, which is uh, pretty grim when you're trying to um, scrape an achievement with a level three tier one unit. And here I, again, I go for the greed. Don't bother buying any more pets and just top up the existing pets. And although the Mantis survives on one HP here, Actually, their backline units are much weaker this time around. And so the snipes are actually going to be relevant. And strangely, it's another 3-1 C line at the back at the end. So 
now uh, we're we've finally got a, a win on the board, and I think um, here I yeah I was about to try and buy sell stuff, but actually I don't have an you know, there was no need for me to buy sell the uh, the uh, bison there. It was still going to be a um, a tier four in the shop, and the tamarind is just uh, getting bigger and bigger, and another bison team and another level three tamarind. However, um, we have uh, good enough stats to hang on, and the uh, the trumpet activation does nothing except bring in a one one golden retriever. So I think we're getting to the point now where I can't really continue having a, a four squad. So we need to get some like half decent pets in, and we're gonna look for uh, you know to try and lock in a decent tier number in the shop. So actually, I. Again, I greed, and I get bring the second moose in and just buy sell the, um, uh, what was it? It was an eel. Now that was really not a good play because, um, when you think about it, buy sell on the eel gave plus one one from each moose, whereas the if I just bought the lionfish, the value you get from the one weakness is so much higher. It's like not even close. So. Definitely a, a bad play there. And here I think I take both the leopard and the um, the crocodile. Or maybe I only take the leopard this turn because I could, yeah. We'll take the dolphin and that guarantees the uh, the double 5-5 five five from the moose. Um, another one that's maybe a bit dubious, but l luckily here we actually snipe the uh, the melon off the front bison. Um, it's, it always kind of exacerbates the bison gameplay when there's a, a caterpillar in the pack as well. Um, I really feel like caterpillar is one of the least interesting units in the game. But um, so here I'm going to go for the uh, the buy sell um, to eliminate the lower um, tier pets from the shop. And again, I'm selling the cow just to guarantee that the moose doesn't hit it because I'll be selling it again next turn if I'd kept it. And um, we really just need to find something else to fill the slot, uh, the last remaining slot, so that uh, we're not constantly running a four squad, especially in a, a pack where there's a lot of sniping pets. Um, because you know your backline units can easily get killed off by a crocodile, and then you end up with, uh, with nothing. So here I wasn't really thinking about it, but I... I think I take the lionfish, but I... Oh no, I, I'm going to take the tiger. Um, I could have taken the hammer shark here as well. Um, but I like the idea of trying to tiger the tamarind. Obviously, if, you're, if your main goal was just to win, you would just put the tiger behind the leopard. But at this point in um, my Super Hot Pets career, I've done that so many times. In fact, I probably got bored of it like seven or eight months ago. So... Now we're, we're we're tigering the tamarind. However, it's really not very effective. I guess it does absolutely maximize the two trumpets that you get from the uh, from the cherry. Um, and here I because I roll the the beaver and the lizard, I'm a bit dubious. You know, I think I'd rather roll, and I roll down and get the the double zebra, which is nice because we get the much uh, needed buffs. Turn 14, there is dragon in this pack, so you can go against absolutely huge opponents. Um, but a lot of teams are like this, where they're running um, Doberman. In fact, I think that's two in a row. So it's Doberman, Lionfish, two games, two um, rounds in a row there. Uh, I'm going to give the uh, Pineapple the Leopard, which is a, a little bit um, ineffective, but um, makes a change from um, from having Melon on everything. And I think we're actually going to face Doberman Lionfish again. So that's three games in a row, or three uh, rounds in a row. But the Tamarind at this point, because the scaling was focused so heavily onto it, its stats are good enough that it can even beat the uh, the Doberman. And now we're going to try and level the Tiger, I think. So I get the, the Tiger here, which is excellent. And then I should just buy the Tiger here and the chocolate, but I risked it and got the emu, which was very lucky. I don't think the I think the tiger tamarind has only gone off once at this point. Um, 
And what a surprise, <laughs> we go against the fourth Doberman lionfish team in a row. However, they get completely deleted and the Tamarin's ability isn't even needed. So there's the uh, level three Tamarin in the current weekly. Uh, so if you're, if you're uh, achievement hunting, it's definitely very possible.